Hey guys, this is Casey from Jetty USA. Today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set up timers on your transmitters. So you want to go ahead into the menu under timers and sensors and select timers. And here will pop up a menu with all your timers. We don't have any programmed. So we're going to go ahead and hit add. Now for this first timer, I want to go ahead and label it as my flight timer. So I just simply move the dial to um, get the letters that I want. And when I'm over the letter that I want, I just hit the button. Um, once you're done labeling it, hit OK, and it'll take you back to the timer detail page. Um, now this is the page where you can adjust all your different parameters. The next parameter is the initial value. So whenever you have an initial value that is higher than your target value, you will actually count down. When you have an initial value that is lower than your target value, you will count up. So we're going to go ahead and set this one at negative 105. And we're going to leave the target value at zero. Um, there are also three different timer types, standard, free running, or la uh, lapse. So for this instance, I'm going to go ahead and hit a standard timer. You can look in your manual, I think it's on page 115, and I'll actually break down the different types of timers you have. Um, report type is going to be whether or not you want it to beep or if you want it to give a voice report. So I'm going to go ahead and do a voice report for this particular timer. Um, we're going to assign a switch. I'm going to assign it to your SH switch right here. All right, and then reset type, you can either choose short reset or a long reset. I'm going to go ahead and choose long reset and I'll explain that a little bit later. Um, flight modes, I want it to be active on all flight modes, so I'm just going to leave this. Um, but you end up having the option of only displayed, default, or back to your all. So I'm going to hit OK. It's going to take me back to the timer menu. Now you see our timer. And I'm going to go back to our home screen. And you see the timer right there displayed on your home screen. Now for me, that's very small. I like my windows much larger. So I'm actually going to go ahead into my menu again, into Timers, but this time I'm going to go down to Displayed Telemetry. I'm going to go ahead and highlight my flight timer, and I'm going to move over to where it says Double. Under Double, I'm going to go ahead and change it to a Yes. Now I'm going to hit OK, and I'm going to escape back to my home screen, and you'll see that that timer is now double the size that it was before. So real quick, I'm going to go ahead and set up a new timer. This one that I'm going to add is going to be a motor timer. So go ahead and I'm going to name it motor. And again, you do that by um, using your dial and selecting the letters that you want. When you're done, you hit OK, and it goes back to your timer detail. Now I'm going to leave the initial value and the target value both at zero, as I just want to see how long my motor's been running for. Standard timer type and report type, I'm going to leave it at none. Switch, I'm going to go ahead and set it on our P4, which is the throttle. And reset, I'm going to leave it at a short reset. Flight modes, again, I want it on all. So I'm done. I'm going to go back to my timer menu. And now you see I have two timers. And I'm going to escape to the home screen. And you'll see both of those timers displayed. When I flip the switch, the timer starts for my flight. One minute. And when it gets to one minute, you can hear it um, verbally tell you. It'll also tell you at 50 seconds, as well as it will at 10. At 10, it'll actually start to count down for you. And I'm going to go ahead and use my motor timer. So I'm going to move the throttle up. And you can actually see it start. Now, if you noticed, it started about center throttle. I want it to start as soon as I move my throttle. So you can actually adjust that sensitivity by going into your menu and advanced properties. Now I go into sticks and switches 
And you want to make sure you move it to the P4 position. So now I'll do throttle. And you can see under the status that it's actually adjusting it. And I will go and switch it. I want it to start when it pretty much moves throttle, but I want to leave a little wiggle room in case I accidentally hit it and it doesn't actually start. So I'm going to put it down at negative 90. All right, now I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to go back to the home screen. Now I want to clear my motor timer. So I'm going to hit the clear button. Now remember when I did a short reset for my flight, and, or for my motor, and a long reset for the flight? This is where that comes into play. So I hit the clear button very quickly, and it will reset my motor. If I hold it down longer, it will reset my flight timer back to the initial one minute and five seconds. So I'm going to show you now, when I move the stick, it has started as low as here versus the previous start position of about center. And now when I turn it off, it's the same. It, start, it turns off at the bottom. Um, if you guys have any questions about how to add a timer or how to edit it, please call us or um, send us an email at sales at jettyusa.com. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.